Do you have an alert that's showing up on your dashboard as reduced engine power? In this video, I'm going to show you a really simple trick on how to solve that problem. My name is Rick Burrows. You're watching Fix It Rick, so let's get into it. Go ahead and remove the top cover. Put this back on. Remove this connector. To move this cable out of the way, simply pull, pull this gray tab. There's a little button right here. Press it and pull. You also have another connection right here. Simply pull the tab up. And just flip it out. Get that to the side. Using a flathead screwdriver, loosen up the hose clamp here and here. Put one side off. Flip the other side off. And then slip that to the side. Using a 10 millimeter socket, you want to remove the four bolts that are holding this piece together. One. That's two. The ones on the bottoms are actually nuts. They're the same thing, 10 millimeter. That's one of them. And that's the other one. You're gonna need an extension to get that other bolt. And there's the other one, there's the other bolt. Using a pry bar, you wanna get these other lines out of the way. Now there's two more nuts that we have to get off when you wanna use a 10 millimeter. There's one of them. Let's get the other one off. It's kind of difficult to see on both sides, but there's a little nut just like this. They're holding this thing together. You see how it's already loose? Hey, there's the other one. And then there's simply wedges right up there. So this is your air intake valve, and you can just see just how gummy and junky it is. This allows air to pass through, and if it's Got all this crap on it then you're gonna get that light on your dashboard that says you know your engine power is being reduced because of all this crap that's built up on it so we're gonna use this throttle body cleaner and then just get it all cleaned up inside there so in the beautiful Texas sunset you can use a paper towel and just make that thing squeaky clean okay so that's much cleaner than it was in the beginning now let's go ahead and clean the inside and just in case you are wondering where Mr. Pumpkin is, he is climbing up the, uh, up the awning. Scary creature. Look at him. Creature of the night. Hey, you. Wait, where are you going? Where'd you go? Look at how content he is up there. He's just sitting and oh, now he's coming down. He gets up and down with this little tree right here. He's like, hmm. Uh, that's funny. But before we go and put this back on, what we need to do is we need to just spray a little bit on the inside here and get rid of any junk. Yeah, look at that. Alright, that's looking so much better. Let's go ahead and put the air intake valve back on. I'm gonna slide her back in place. I'm gonna put these nuts right on the bottom. To tighten them, you want to go clockwise. Let's go ahead and get the other one. It goes right here. And then you want to turn it clockwise. And then we'll put our two bolts back in. One bolt goes here. The other bolt goes right there. And you don't want to over tighten it. You just want it tight enough. Nice and snug. You don't want to go too tight. So we have this rubber hose that we're going to put back in here. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and spray on the inside. Try not to get that stuff on your hand. I'm going to go ahead and spray the inside and give that a good cleaning where this was. Get these lines back. We're going to put the two nuts back on to hold them in place. Tighten her up. Get the other Put the other nut on. It's a little difficult to see, but it's just on the opposite side of this side. Alright, so now we want to put the other bolt back in place. Go ahead and put this hose on. Twisting kind of helps. You also need to remember to put this back, back in that little ho this hose right here. I'm using a flathead screwdriver, let's go ahead and tighten down the hose clamp. And that's the other side. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and put our connectors back on. That's one, that's two, that's three. Let's go ahead and put the cover back on. All right, so check this out. I've been driving all day long and see here it does not show up as engine power reduced don't worry about that that's just a tire pressure uh, sensor but the engine power reduced has been is completely gone and so this throttle body cleaner actually works really really well at solving the problem so if you want to get yourself a bottle of this stuff i'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can go ahead and buy it thanks again for watching fix the rig i appreciate every single one of you so if you found today's video to be very helpful please hit the like button subscribe and leave a comment below and always remember that jesus christ loves you and only he can solve your biggest problem